Hi, this is Igor from HDHead.com. Everyone loves corner pinning, and now we can do corner pinning in Resolve version 15. Here is a shot of a school bus, a really short one. And I will click on Media Pool and show you a shot of a really cute dog. And we'll take this dog and corner pin him on the bus. Close Media Pool down and take this source clip to Fusion. In Fusion, I'm going to open Media Pool and drag our dog down here. I will right click on the dog, say rename, and change this to dog. And we'll do the same thing on the other media in node, which represents the bus. This time I will just press F2 and rename that to bus. This will help us a little later on. Now we can close the media pool. And I will customize the viewers to show only one display, not two, by clicking here. We'll move this line down, give us a little bit more room. And we'll corner pin our dog right in this window here. With the dog selected, I will press Control Space and uh, type in corner, select corner positioner and OK. And I will drag and drop that corner positioner here. Zoom out holding the middle mouse key. The corners are now active. They allow me to move the dog, reshape this rectangle. But I don't see the bus because we have to comp the corner pinned image over the bus. So I will select the bus, control space, type in merge, enter, and we'll take the output of the corner positioner and drop it over the merge. With the merge selected, I will press 2 on the keyboard to send the output of the merge node into our viewer. We'll select the corner positioner again and kind of roughly place the corners inside of this window here. I'm putting it in this window just for the demo because it has very clearly defined corners. I will only rough in the corner positions right now. And if you look here on the right at the inspector, the corners are defined as top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So starting at the top, I will click on the top left, go to Modify With, Tracker Position, then added a tracker to this corner. I will repeat the same action for all the other corners. And then we'll go to Modifiers tab, where we have our four trackers. I'll double click the first one. See where it says Tracker Source Dog and Tracker Label. What's going on is the tracker is going to track itself. So that, that's not going to help us. We have to track the bus. So what we can do is type in bus right here. That's the, uh, that was the reason why we renamed that uh, media in node. And now I can do the find positioning by dragging the actual tracker in place. I will repeat that for the other three trackers. Track 2, we'll change it to bus. Go to tracker label, see it's still looking at the dog, but as soon as I start moving it, this new tracker target snaps in place. Bus. And let's track. So I'll track one at a time. We have Tracker 4 open, so I can just work backwards. Starting from the first frame. As I cue this back to the top, you can see how that corner point is now locked to the bus window. Go back to Track 3. Track forward. OK. Go back to the beginning. Track 2. Track forward. The only remaining one is the uh, track one. Track one, track forward. Okay, let's push play and see what it looks like. All right, so it's not the best track in the world, but it will do for our purpose. I will do a couple of other things to make this look a little better. Go to tools and click on motion blur. Then we'll select the merge tool. This dog picture now looks like it's pasted on because it is. It's just using over compositing mode. But with Merge Tool selected, you can change the Apply mode from Normal to, let's say, Screen. And I will dial it back a little bit. So now we're keeping some of the translucency of the window. And uh, right there, there's a lens flare, some sort of a dirt 
that moves over a dog because the screen mode allows it to do so. There's one more thing I need to do. We'll click on the dog, press 2 on the keyboard. As you can see, the shot is moving. It's not a still frame, which is fine for some applications, but in our case, we want to make that a still. So I will select these two nodes, move them over here to make a little bit of room. It's really not necessary, it's just purely cosmetic. We'll select the dog, press Control space, type in time for time stretcher. Select that, click, click on OK. Press 2 on the keyboard to send the time stretcher into your main viewer and as you can see that first frame is now frozen. If we select the merge, press 2, a comp is holding that first frame of the dog. Now we can go back out to the edit page of Resolve, push play, and our corner pin is right there. This was just a quick and dirty overview of corner pinning. There's a lot more to it and you can get a lot more sophisticated but this should get you started. Thanks for watching.